Yeah, it was good. We're live. Late nice. live. Well, we're live, guys. We can see a couple of your little bobbleheads up here. Yet. Live from the Section 179 digital commer commercial rerun proposal. We have uh, Kimba Garcia. She's the first recipient of our custom branded roof proposal, Section 179. We also what's got her. What's up, Kimba? Hello. You just got off the solar tall, didn't you? Literally, right before I got on this one, yeah. <laughs> Did you, close, <laughs> did you close it? I think so. I mean, we, we still have to, they're in this weird program where their utility company changes every three months, but we're double checking some usage numbers just to make sure we have the solar system 100% accurate for them. But then yeah, we're gonna roll up. Nice. They're excited, yeah. And then we got Sean Land with Cirque. Cirque is our new commercial. Cool. What's up, Sean? Is that, uh, is that Brian or John with you? John. John, John, the finance guy, the commercial yeah. finance guy. So we got Cirque, that's our commer new commercial funding. They do commercial funding, they also do commercial solar. Um, they help put this report together on a section 179D with some very smart tax professionals and corporate attorneys. So let's go over section 179 first, because a lot of people are confused about what's 179, what's 179D. They're two different tax deductions, but you can use them both together or you can use them apart. And solar is only relevant on 179D. The actual biggest, most lucrative tax deduction in some cases is 179, which is on a re-roof. So Kimba, this is uh, one of your first jobs we put through. You'll see a little mm -hmm. custom branded page. That's your cover page you're gonna hand off to your customer. Gets a little attention with the 179, as you can see. Yeah. Then we got a little table of contents about what's in here. Now on your end, you're just gonna, all you have to do is, Kim, is drop your aerial, drop in your uh, your exact amount or your lump sum or your retail commercial bid, depending on how you're bidding or, or pricing a commercial project. In this case, it's an insurance claim. Right. And I got a total there of 870,000. That's an exact amount line item total. A lot of people are familiar mm -hmm. with that, so we use that one. Yep. Yada, yada. Now this is on your end, Kim, but when you get the digital proposal, is an Excel calculator. All you have to do is take that RCV allowance, drop it in the top. The deduction will work out itself based on a 35% uh, tax bracket. So there you get your 870,000. You're gonna write that off in first year. Now, if, if, you, if the customer was paying cash, as this example shows, the cash savings at a 35% tax rate, give or take a few, is about 304,000, yada, yada. Your true cost is 565 after the cash deduction. But the yeah. truth is, a lot of you guys are doing exactimates or, uh, excuse me, insurance claims. So the insurance company is actually paying for the roof. Or in some cases, CERC might fund the commercial roof, in which case that's getting spread out over 25 years. And so right. when you think about that, it's actually a yeah. better savings than that because they're taking off a full deduction against possibly other business income. So if they made a million dollars on the ice cream stand down the road, and they owned this commercial building next door, but it all fell through the same business, they would inadvertently be using the section 179 write-off of 870,000 to wipe off a million dollars of income that had nothing to do with that building. You guys with me? That's an amazing yeah. tax deduction by itself. I mean, even if they pay for it out of pocket, it's a great tax deduction, because now we can see the the actual mm -hmm. cost, I mean, some people think, well, this roof's gonna cost me 870,000, let's say it's out of pocket. No, it's actually gonna cost you 565 after you take section 179 and apply it to a 35% to a tax bracket. You with me? Yep, yep. And again, if, if you're not paying for it out of pocket, as if you funded it, or if you received an insurance settlement for it, it's actually a larger impact because now you're wiping out phantom income or real income through a phantom tax deduction based on section 179. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's an amazing, awesome. guys, that's an amazing story to tell before you get into section 179D. Um, it passed in, uh, and here's all the, this is included in a report, Kimba. It's one thing to say, it's another thing to show the, from the government tax site, how it actually applies and work with commonly asked questions and limitations, and even Q and A and how it applies to lost carryover. Um, you notice number three there, you can deduct it even if you don't pay for it. That means insurance claims or financing. Um, you can deduct the cost of your roof repairs under section 179. 
It's a little different deduction, but it's pr primarily the same. Um, all I kinds this, so explaining the tax deduction to the to the customer is also built into the proposal. That's awesome. Yeah, it's one thing to show it on a calculator. It's another thing to back it up with with actual government data. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. And then here, uh, you know, and, and just a yeah, it's just a real quick history on Section 179. I, I've known about it since 2004. I think originally Bush put it into effect for cars and equipment and machinery uh, to accelerate depreciation to to uh, to uh, invigorate the economy in 2004. In 2018, Trump changed it under the tax reform to include capital improvements like commercial re-roofs, like the commercial AC units, like you know anything to do to improve your property beyond capital uh, machinery and equipment and vehicles, which means a roof, which used to be depreciated over 35 years, can now be depreciated in the first year, even if you didn't spend a dollar on it, as long as you put it into service, which includes insurance claims or financing, okay? A lot of people missed that little tiny area called commercial re-roof in 2018. Because even my tax CPA, who's up on seven, uh, pretty up on Section 179, because we've been using it every year, he didn't know the details of how it applied to commercial re-roofing. And he's supposedly a Section 179 expert. And as we started talking to guys at boot camp, Kim, but you heard the, the folks mm -hmm. in the room this last weekend, the contractors didn't know about it, uh, which be, and then a lot of commercial building owners didn't know about it. 80% of commercial building owners don't read tax code. And so when you're... <laughs> When you're, my feeling is when you're presenting a bid, whether it's insurance claim, insurance proceeds, retail bid, lump sum contract, everybody, you know, they're, they're gonna get other bids. How do you stand out as you incorporate a tax strategy into your bid right from the get-go to stand out from the rest of the crowd, get their attention, and provide value beyond the roof itself, and that's tax deduction strategy. Now I love it. Yep. I'm, I'm excited to use So. There's a little about us section uh, area here, Kimba, that you, that's kind of built in, kind of like your standard free 10-point inspection. If you want to right. change that, you can. It's kind of a built-in thing. We didn't want to get too much in the about us. Keep it simple, some, some basic references, dropping yeah. your liability, just this is the basics. Because I think in a lot of cases, you might be dropping these off at people just to get their attention, you know? Right. Uh, on, on the commercial side. So you, we didn't want to take that too far. There's your call to action. Uh, we'll drop, again, you drop on a data entry, you drop your photo, your point of contact, or maybe it's one of your project managers. They can actually mm -hmm. drop their photo, a little, pers a little personality there, uh, point of contact to set up a time to review the Section 179 commercial roof proposal. So that's Section 179. Now that's a great story all by itself. Like you can see there in the bottom of this page, we said see attached sample Section 179D and for a custom report we did for another commercial roofing client. And that's where we bring the CERT guys in. So that's a, obviously we don't know yet what that customized report is. So we did a sample report to include in here to show them what 179D would look like if they volunteered or wanted to do a solar or energy efficiency study on their commercial building. If you're already at the table, you might as well provide a holistic approach and solution approach to the most value of the customer. You agree, Kimbo? Yep. You're already there. You might, as well, you might as well show it to them. So yeah. what CERC does, guys, and I'll let them explain this in a little more detail in a minute, is does a, a helioscope rendering on the top of that property for energy efficiency. So they slap some digital solar panels on. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. They do it pretty quick. And they do this cool cash flow analysis where they're showing a commercial facility. Hey, over 25 years, we're going to save you this much on your utility bill, yada, yada, yada. I'll let them explain that here in a minute because it's a little complicated. It talks about carbon footprint and all that good stuff. But you're saving some money on the utility bills in a large way for a commercial facility. But where the math really gets juicy is right here. And that's this cumulative cash flow for the customer. Where you have your $870,000 Section 179 deduction and you have an additional because they put solar on. So that's going to happen no matter if you do solar or not. You get the commercial re roof deduction. 865, mm -hmm. okay? If you do the solar, why not look at it? Maybe you'll save them some TLT bills. It doesn't cost them anything to get this commercial roof, uh, this section 179D proposal. Why not take a look-see? In this case, because they added the solar on, not only are they saving that commercial facility utility bills, they're getting an additional 1.8 million 
tax deduction on top of the 870,000 for a cumulative total of 2.8 million in the first year. If that wow. doesn't open some eyes from the CFO, the re the risk manager, the asset manager, the commercial building owner, I don't know what will because that's big dollars. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. You say 2.8 million, Anthony? Well, yeah, 2.8, this is your cash flow report. If you combine the two, yeah. let's combine the uh, section 179. And then if they wanted to explore solar energy efficiency on top of it, a 1.8 million on the solar install. That sounds like the biggest tax loophole in existence. <laughs> it's, biggest, yeah, it's, big, it's one of the biggest tax deductions I've ever seen first year. So I don't know if you guys uh, on, on the CERC side want to talk a little bit about your proposal because it's a heck of a proposal that you guys provide complementary to our solar dealers in addition to 179. Well, yeah, it's a proposal only you're only going to get if you are partnered with SDG and, and now uh, they're, they're partnered with us, up with us, sir. So not only are you presenting to a company that they're going to be saving a ton of uh, on their energy, but now you're coming to them with the tax strategy. Uh, which they had no idea about. We do one of these for you, one of these beautiful commercial proposals. Look at those, look at these. I know I know you're not impressed by this, but see those solar panels on there? Oh man, that's what, that's what makes my mouth water, Anthony. So I know you're only worried about the roof, but we got the, uh, yeah, we'll put together one of these for them free of charge. It's gonna blow them out of the water when you, when you slap this down on the table. Um, and that's something that we take care of A to Z. We you know come up with the financing needs, and now, you know, when we put our big brains together, we can, you know, we were able to close this 179 and 179D uh, tax deduction. Um, and it's just, I mean, it, as far as, as far as competition wise, if you're coming to the table with just a proposal, or you're coming to a table with a proposal and a tax strategy, there's no one else that's going to be able to compare. So you're swinging a big stick at the uh, negotiation table. Here's a, uh, here's a uh, SBG referral, uh, proposal right here for, I don't know, let's look at this. I don't know, it looks like a $37 million, uh, $37 million commercial project. Yeah, who's, so Anthony, who's, who's, who's was that? Which, which company was it? Um, it was um, Harbor Freight. That's the client. Yeah, and this was in uh, uh, South Carolina. Yeah, Harbor Freight, South Carolina. So okay. giant manufacturing uh, manufacturing plant. So, so you just so it's a $37 million proposal. Is that including a re-roof or just the solar? This is just for the solar. Wow. Well, so imagine cool. if there was a re-roof involved. I mean, so there's gonna be there's gonna be many situations where yeah, you're just getting the re-roof, you're getting you're able to throw solar on top of it. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. But yeah, thanks again. When I'm uh, when I'm on the beach this summer, I'll really be thinking of you. Okay, I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here's a, here's something else I found out, guys. I did a little more research on 179D. This is where it gets even more interesting, Kim. But you'll enjoy this. If you're doing a government-owned building on Section 179D, K through 12 schools, military bases, prisons, courthouses, universities, libraries, city parks, anything owned by the city, state, or federal government, they can't actually apply for whatever reason on taxes this tax deduction back because I don't think they're taxed as such. So mm -hmm. if you read into it, guess who can take that tax deduction? The contractor that did the work. What? Yes. What? Yes. Yep, you got to fill out a form. So uh, yeah. if you read right here, yeah, oh, no, not a form. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Additionally, the business that are seeking right here it says the business that are seeking 179D based on work performed on government-owned buildings. These companies are required to secure an allocation letter. So you get the allocation letter from the government building to transfer it. You transfer the benefit to the to the uh, to the actual contractor. You with me? So on government-owned buildings, Section 179D can pass to the contractor. Now, you can say, well, does that go to the installer, CERC, or does that go to the prime contractor who generated the deal? I'd probably argue the prime contractor under, uh, generated the deal. I don't know if CERC needs the tax deduction or a publicly traded company. But what I'm saying is you can pass Section 179D back to the contractor. That's amazing. We gotta, we gotta expand on it. I just found that out today. We gotta expand on that uh, a little bit later, uh, maybe in another training menu inside the university or whatnot. But, Pretty yeah, cool, why. pretty cool situation. Yep. So imagine you get ten, imagine you get ten of them. I guess you can wipe out your uh, ta taxable income every year just by, <laughs> by someone wants to like, put solar on. So again, guys, and we wanted to keep this short and brief. This is an overview of our new Section 179 commercial roof proposal. It started. It's two stories. 
And it's not all about it's not all about solar. The first story is on the re-roof itself, which is 100% tax deductible up to one million and fifty thousand. Not just one million. Actually, in 2021, it went to one million and fifty thousand. Not much of a difference, but it's, but it's one million fifty thousand. Um, and what we prepared is a report here. This is the first one is Kimba's. I think we got. I think CMR got one today. I think, I think ten went out today. Uh, the digital proposals. We're on your end, Kim. Again, this is all branded up. All you gotta do is drop your arrow, a photo, point of contact, your exactimate, and all this stuff is built in, like the tax calculator. So you're able to quickly make these proposals in less than three minutes at the click of a button to shoot off PDF style electronically to any com potential commercial customer, client, asset manager, CFO, commercial building owner, anybody's got a big non-residential property. And that's what everybody's yeah. looking for. And it sets you out from the competition because you're not only dropping off a bid like everybody else or an insurance proceeds story like everybody else, like I used to do, you're dropping off that and a very easy to understand tax strategy on how to apply this back to your business income or to really look at it if it's a cash deal as, as a uh, cash savings on a cash roof based on tax strategy. And then there's all your information and then it gets into 179D, which has to do with energy efficiency. That's an option. That's something separate from 179. A lot of people don't understand that. You don't have to do solar. You can, but it shows an option to do that. And what does that now mean? And the reason why we started off with 179 is because just like you, just like contract or anybody else, to understand something complex, sometimes it's easier to understand something simple. And then we build on that. So you start with 179, you go to 179D. To me, it's all tied in together. Look, if you're at the kitchen table, you're at the property management company, you're at the REIT, you're sitting in front of the decision maker, maybe you're handling your claim, maybe you're, maybe you're presenting your retail bid. If you're already at the table, provide the most valuable holistic approach to that building beyond just putting a roof on. All the tools are here. In this case, CERC provides that report for them and answers all those questions. All you gotta do is introduce the concept. And then our digital proposal kicks it off which anybody can order. You don't have to be a solar customer to get our digital proposal for basic commercial uh, section 179 rebrush strategy, okay? Booyah. Can I get a booyah, baby? The pharmacy, the pharmacy I'll talk to you about, I'm gonna be using this proposal on, because we're doing a rebrush and a solar on a pharmacy. I got a dig to do, so this is gonna be so beautiful. Yep, but we're, so gonna make you, we're gonna walk in there, you're gonna look so good, not even just so you're going to be looking at, not only are you going to be looking at that picture you have on your proposal, but you're going to just be, they're going to be like, wow, she's beautiful and smart. Look at that proposal she dropped off. Wow. So I got your back, girl. She's getting confident. Well, like, <laughs> right. What about, hey, what about the confidence on there? So guys, we're excited about this. Uh, with Kimba, you'll be getting your, you'll you're be getting the first the one. You're getting the first one off the press when we're done with this meeting and we got to deliver the yeah, other ones. Excited. And uh, it's, a, it's a way to stand out from the competition. I came up with a little quote during boot camp. It's kind of funny. Don't go to war with a butter knife when you can be a or have a 50 cal machine gun. And that's what this is right here. There it is. Yes, so sir. we'll talk soon, guys. Hey, Anthony, it's like I got that on a t shirt. Yeah, did you guys get those shirts? Yeah, I got one. Cool. All right. Yeah. We'll talk to you guys. We'll get this out to you here in the next 30 minutes, Kimba. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you, sir. Thanks. I'll be you guys.